What's up guys, this is Gunscorch here, and welcome to part 6 of my vehicle making tutorial. Uh, as you can see over here, I finally got done separating everything. Uh, took me quite a while. Uh, I actually had to go modify and optimize to lower the quality of some things so I could put them all into one. The uh, body shell in particular. Wherever that went. All of that stuff. Um, the one thing that I did do is I took the glass. There was some glass around the headlight. Uh, I took that off and deleted that. Uh, same thing with the taillights. Um, but, seeing how the interior to this, the chassis, Oh, and I had to uh, put an engine in there because it was just that part was the engine, and that was it. So I put an engine in there. Um, this right here, this back shelf and the part behind the seat, uh, that I actually put in there with create and grid. Um, so we want to so go front. We want a grid. So we want to make a grid above this. So we put it there and then we select how many columns. So how many these way lines. And then see so we'll leave that at two. And then how many rows? So this way and we'll put that at three. And then we just hit OK. And then it does put it straight up and down at this Y and X, but the Z is right at center. Uh, then we can go modify move on the Z, bring it forward, and then if we want, we can go flip that to make it go the other way. And then from here, what we would do if we wanted it to line up would be to select the vertices and see the rows were three. There is one, two, three rows, and it goes based on polygons, so three rows and two columns. Um, so when, if we wanted this to be nice and straight, we'd just go Z, because we already know that it's set up right on here. Um, we'd just go Z until it starts coming in, and then press and hold control, and then Left, left click, swipe, and then like that. I'm doing it till just until it goes inside the texture because then from here, now it's all inside. We can bring that out just a little bit, and then it's right over that. So if we wanted like the dials or something to be over here, like a like a uh, like computer screen readout, uh, that's where that would go, and that's how you do that. Uh, and that it shows up as surface then. Um, so if we go back to object, go to the chassis. Uh, you can only do right click, edit, delete when you're in object mode. Um, let's see what else to do. Uh, suspension that had to be added in. Uh, because the car didn't come with any. Um, if we go body shell and chassis, that's what the suspension will look like if the wheels aren't on the vehicle. Um, that's what it looks like with the wheels on the vehicle. Um, and then I reformatted the interior of this to make it fit a little better so that not everything see through. Um, that might have to bring up some. So we're going to do that now. And it's part of the chassis. So the suspension we don't need anymore. Now we just go vertex, select chassis, move on the y axis. 
select that one, and we're actually going to select this one on that side because that just runs right across. So we're going to move up both of them. That side's good, and the other side's good. Perfect. Actually, we're going to move it up a little more. Just to ensure when, uh, when the suspension goes off. should give us a little more wiggle room. Uh, but I did that with all of this stuff down here to make things less see-through when the door opens. Um, but I added that in there. Um, let's see, what else did I do? Added suspension. Uh, the wheels. Uh, the rim. The, the spokes on the rim. They didn't have an inside texture, so you could just see right through them, so I added that. Um, body shell, I don't think I added anything off of this. Oh, the, the, uh, there was, like, a grate, or a grill or something, over here. Uh, that I just made into one plate. Uh, and then I actually added a few more textures, uh, grill and the black stuff in here is actually transparent uh, same thing with this uh, the spec map for the grill and then the bump map for it so it, it has to be purple um, and then vehicle generic this is for the engine and stuff I think somewhere yeah there we go the engine so that's where all the textures for the engine comes from and that. Uh, then wood for the steering wheel, because I figured wood would probably look la look best. And then there's actually intakes on the chassis, intake filters. So uh, I use that. So. That's that. Um, I was going for this video. I was going to uh, start replacing stuff, but when texturing, um, if these are compounds, it's pretty difficult to uh, keep track of everything. Um, so I am going to show you guys how to. I don't have a lot of time, but uh, so we're going to go springs on the chassis. Or springs on the suspension, rather. Um, and this will just be a really short UV mapping thing. And then in part 7, I'll have the vehicle completely UV mapped and everything because i got to do the interior and all that, and that's going to take forever. Um, okay, so we're going to do just the left front for now, and we're going to texture the spring a different color. So polygon, select, detach, separated. Make sure it's blue, right click, then left click, and then now, if we get rid of that, we have just the spring. So say we want the spring to be red or something. So we'll, we'll just use the lights for example. Um, this would actually be something under vehicle mesh. Or actually, if we want them chrome, uh, we just have the material browser open select over something and then that'll be under scene selection and then we just drag and drop the material chrome and then now that spring is chrome. I know it looks white but in game it'll actually be chrome. Uh, try not to um, go based off of what is actually in the modeler. Um, and actually we didn't do any UV mapping for that. Um, so let me go back modify attach that one back to the left front and now that part, the spring section, is chrome now. Um, we didn't really get into UV mapping, uh, but we'll do the tires in the next section because 10 minutes is about up. Um, anywho, see you in part 7. Peace.